Hey guys, so in today's video I wanted to talk to you about some of my favourite places in Bournemouth. This year because I live in a house, it's meant that my housemates can bring their cars down, so we've done so much more like travelling around the Bournemouth area than we did in first year. Also because we spend a lot of time on our laptops, because we were on Zoom a lot because of the lockdown, um, we've been making more of a conscious effort to actually get outside and get moving. I'm going to sit here so I can like put up photos as I talk, but anyway, one of the main reasons I came to Bournemouth was obviously because of the beach. Um, it's so nice being within walking distance from the sea. I love it. Um, I really want to see a sunrise at the beach, um, but I'm not quite prepared to wake up quite that early. But I've seen so many nice sunsets there. Um, it's really nice going to get fish and chips and just sitting and watching the sunset and then getting the bus back up through town. You see, I've gone during the day. Going there in the summer is so, so nice. And I've even gone at night um, in the pitch black, which is also really fun because all the lights on the pier on. So definitely make the most of going to the beach while you can. I also recommend Sandbanks Beach if you can get there. We, me and my housemates went during the summer and it was honestly so lovely. I felt like I was in Spain. Not only is the beach really nice but there's also a lot of boats out in the docks so it's just really pretty to go look at. So you can go to the beach near Hengsbury Head or you can do the walk. Um, we again went to watch the sunset from Hengsbury Head. We walked all the way up to the top and we sat on the bench at the top and just watched the sunset over Bournemouth and it was honestly one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Um, 100% would recommend. And then there's a bunch of other beaches. I know Boscombe Beach is supposed to be really nice. I've not been there myself, um, but definitely explore a lot of the coastline because there's so many nice spots there. If you're looking for another nice walk, I really recommend some of the local forests. I know the new forest isn't too far away. Me and my housemates went to Ramsdown Forest, which isn't too far out of Bournemouth. Um, and it was so, so nice. Again, we went round about sunset um, and you can walk all the way to the top of this really big hill and there's like a clearing and you can see um, Bournemouth Airport so you can watch the planes like land and take off. Um, and then there's also like a looking point um, which looks over Bournemouth and you can see the sunset from there which is again really nice. As you can tell I'm a sucker for a sunset. My favourite days out this year was when we went pumpkin picking back in October. We went over to a pumpkin patch in Ringwood which obviously is quite far out of Bournemouth and I know there are a lot more, more local um, but if you can I would 100% recommend going to one of the like pick your own fruit places or like pick your own pumpkin whatever. Um, it was so much fun. There was like a hot chocolate stand. You got to take your own wheelbarrow around and obviously like pick which pumpkins you wanted. And then we all came home and we um, carved them. And it was honestly one of the best days of this semester. The fun things we've done um, are go to the local garden centre. We went to one over by the Bournemouth airport, which again was super cute. We went there for lunch and just for like a little wander around. We went round about to Christmas time. So um, they were selling their Christmas trees, which was really nice to go look at. I also recommend giving like local coffee shops or just like smaller shops a look at. Um, we went charity shopping in Christchurch, which again was really fun. Um, just like going to all these towns and like seeing all the little shops and like meeting all these different people um it just makes you feel more in touch with the whole community speaking of Christchurch there's quite a lot to do there um you can walk along the docks again um it was really nice there was people rowing when we went we went for a walk around the church um had a look at the grounds of the church we also then stopped off for a pub lunch, which was really nice. We had fish and chips. We also went for a walk down some of the lanes. Um, some of the houses are painted really pretty. And then there's also this chair that they used to um, do the witch trials in. Um, so if you can find that, that's a really interesting thing to go and look at. Boscombe's also really nice. Um, the high street is really big. There's loads of different shops there. Um, I went for a meal out, which was unreal at their um, vegan restaurant. But you can also have a look in the Boscombe Gardens. It's not too far out from Bournemouth, so you can either get the bus or if you're feeling brave, you can walk it. I don't think the walk's too, too long. And obviously there's Winton, which most people will probably be familiar with because I think a lot of second years move there. Um, Winton High Street again I really like. Um, there's loads and loads of coffee shops so when we're able to go back out again and meet up with friends that's a really nice place to go and meet up with people. There's also loads of takeaway options there so there's loads of like different foods that you can try out and there's also loads of charity shops so if you feel like doing a bit of charity shopping more locally you can go have a look over there. Yeah anyways there's some of my favourite spots. 
Um, there are so many more and I'm so excited to be able to get back out there and start like exploring the area again. Yeah, if you've got any suggestions of places um, to visit, pop them in the comments below because I'm sure um, it will give everyone some inspiration. Um, I still want to go visit Durdle Door um, and I also want to visit some more of the like local forests and see the ponies and see the goats. Um, so I've only just scratched the surface of the exploring that I want to do in Bournemouth but it's a start so hopefully this has given you some inspiration to go get outside and off your laptop and explore the local area. Buses take you all over the place so if you wanted to check out some of the local towns you could do it like that or even if you just want to explore by going to a coffee shop that you've never been to just mixing it up and um, getting out there and exploring is always good. So yeah I hope this video has been helpful and given you some inspiration. I absolutely cannot wait to go out and explore again and yeah um that's all from me so i'll see you in my next one bye